The Science of Storytelling Book by Will Storr Chapter 2 Everybody Loves a Flawed Character Even if our brains have a natural bias to our own faults, when we interact with other stories, we crave characters who are made relatable through their flaws. And although it may be a subconscious process, when we explore life through the lens of an imperfect character, we're given a safe space to explore our own flaws in relation to the world. This is vital because our flaws are often deeply rooted in our sense of personal identity, cultural values, or the worldview with which we were raised. These elements can also vary greatly depending on our culture or generation and our personal flaws may stem from twisted perceptions of the world which were impressed upon us in early life. For example, if you grew up in Victorian England, the value of conformity and decorum might be drilled into you by your society and family. But if you grew up in America during the gold rush, your core values would center around individuality and the importance of seeking your fortune. But no matter what our worldview and core beliefs are, they often solidify and become a part of us, and we spend most of our adult lives clinging to them. Because of this, we often struggle greatly when encountering worldviews that differ from our own, as neuroscientist Sarah Gimbel proved when she conducted a study that involved showing people evidence which stood in stark contrast to their deeply held political opinions. Brain scans of the people confronted with this material showed their physiological and psychological reactions were, in fact, similar to that of someone being threatened by a bear in the wild. And because we tend to cling to our belief systems, no matter how flawed, we're naturally very responsive to characters who do the same. Even if our judgment is impaired when it comes to identifying our own flaws, we're usually spot on at pinpointing those of others. This means that flawed characters often serve as literary mirrors, allowing us a safe space in which to vicariously explore the constructs of society and morality. Although we may not be conscious of it, we're especially drawn to flawed characters for precisely this reason. We want to watch them learn and grow and succeed. And we also enjoy watching them pursue meaningful and realistic goals. For example, a recent examination of the New York Times bestsellers list concluded that novels which made the list included twice as many goal-oriented words like do, want, and need, as opposed to their less popular counterparts. That's why, if you want to craft the next best-selling novel, choosing your character's flaws and goals is one of your most important tasks.